guys, welcome to sixth grade. Uh, chapter two, lesson three, we're gonna go ahead and get started number two. So Miss Lee loves these, she could do them all day long. They're amazing, they're super fun. For math nerds, that is. Okay, so it says three times one six, and I want you to write it in simplest form. So three is not a fraction. Can't do this unless it's a fraction, so just put it over one because three over one is equal to three. Okay, so now we can cross cancel, which means any top with any bottom, if they are divisible by the same thing, you can reduce them, which means so if I were to divide three and six both by three. 3 goes into 3 one time, 3 goes into 6 two times, which means when I multiply them across, I get 1 half. That's reduced form. Okay? So number 2, your answer is 1 half. Okay? Number 3. Okay? 5 and 9 can't be divided by the same number. 3 and 4 can't be divided by the same number, but 9 and 3 can. So I'm going to go 3 goes into 3 one time. 3 goes into 9 three times. Okay, so now I just have to multiply straight across because 4 can't go into 5 evenly, 5 can't go into 4 evenly. Nothing goes in with 3 now. Okay, so 5 times 1, 5, 3 times 4, 12. Reduced. Done. Okay, 4 through 9, you guys do those. Okay, you totally can. Um, you know what? I will go ahead and do um number 10 with you because there's multiple things that you can cross cancel okay so first i am going to see how there's the same number here i'm going to cancel those out first that's the very first thing i'm going to cancel out they're the same numbers so three goes into three once both times okay so now i'm going to go over and I can absolutely, it doesn't matter which top and which bottom, as long as it's a top and a bottom, okay? So two goes into four. So two goes into two one time, and two goes into four twice. So now I can't reduce anything else because the top is all one. I can't reduce by one, okay? So one times one times one is one. Two times one is two times five, ten. There you go, guys, okay? All right, we are gonna go ahead and do number 11. Number 11 says Karen rates three-fifths of the yard. Mimi rates one-third of the amount that Karen rates. How much of the yard did Mimi rate? So she rates one-third of, okay, of in, multiple, of in uh, math means multiply, three, the three-fifths that Karen rates, okay? So see that same number? Cross them out, put one. Now, when I multiply straight across, I have one fifth. Okay, done. And it is a word problem, so we're gonna put one fifth of the yard. Okay, all right. All right, number 12 says so three eighths of the pets of the pet show are dogs. Two thirds of those dogs have long hair. Which fraction of the pets are dogs with long hair? So, Three eighths of the dogs, which are two thirds, so three eighths of the two thirds that are dogs have long hair. So, see those same numbers? Cross them out, put a one. Okay? Now, that doesn't mean that two can't go into eight, so two goes into two once and two goes into eight four times. Okay? So now, multiply straight across, one times one is one, and one times four is four. So, one fourth have long hair or you can put dogs with long hair or whatever okay all right so we are going to go down to number 13 and we're going to remember our PEMDAS it is important okay it says one half plus three eighths times eight okay the first thing I'm going to do is to rewrite my one half plus three eighths. Okay. That's what I have to do first because parentheses are first. Okay. This is first. Okay. So now 
In order to add fractions, I need to have a common denominator, okay? So the first number that two and eight both go into is gonna be eight, okay? Which means eight is my denominator all the way across, okay? This one's already an eight, so I'm just gonna move that three down there, okay? Now, two, I have to multiply by four to get eight, and whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top, okay? So now, I just add the top straight across, seven. So seven, eight, okay? So now, I cannot forget that I need to multiply that by eight. And remember, eight is not a fraction, put it over one, okay? All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and cross cancel. I have two that are the same number, so I can cross those out and put one, okay? Now seven times one is seven and over one. So you can put seven over one, but the answer is just gonna be seven, okay? Any number over one is itself. So if I have a million over one, the answer is a million. If I have eight over one, the answer is eight, okay? All right, you guys do 14 through 16. So 14, 15, 16, you guys do, you totally can. I have faith in you, okay? We are gonna go down to number 17 and it says Jason ran five sevens of the distance around the school track. Sarah ran four fifths of Jason's distance. So we're gonna do four fifths of times the five sevenths that Jason ran, okay? So two of the same number, cross them out, put one. Five goes into five once on both times, okay? Now, four doesn't go into seven, seven doesn't go into four. I'm just gonna have to go ahead and multiply straight across. Four times one is four, one times seven is seven. There we go. Oh, so add the distance because or of the track distance, okay? So, there you go, okay? Word problem, word answer, you gotta label it, okay? All right, number 18 says, a group of students attended a math club. Half of those students are boys, and four-ninths of, so four-ninths of one-half have brown eyes. What fraction of the group have brown eyes? So four-ninths of the one-half that are boys, okay? So two goes into two once, two goes into four twice. So now I can't reduce anything by nine or by two anymore, so I just have to multiply straight across. So two times one is two, nine times one is nine, so two ninths have brown eyes, okay? All right, going on to the back, the lesson check. You guys can totally do yourselves. You, have, you can do it. I have faith. We are going to go down to Spiral Review. Okay. Spiral Review says Tom bought two and five six pounds of peanuts and 2.45 pounds of cashews. Which did he buy more of and explain? So, in order to compare them, I have to make them both fractions or both decimals. Okay, it's easier to make them into decimals. Okay, so I put the five inside the box, the 16 out. I wrote multiples of 16 over here just so that I have them because I don't know them off the top of my head. Okay, 16 is not going to go into five. Placeholder. Okay, but now decimal zero. Okay, so 16 will go into 50. It looks like 48 is the highest I can get. That's one, two, three times. 3 times 16 was 48, subtract, I'm going to get 2, okay? 2 is less than 16, I can add a 0, I can bring it down, okay? I'm going to say that 16 can go into 20 one time, 1 times 16, 16, okay. Now, I don't actually have to go any further because this is 2.45. And this one, I didn't mess with the two because they're both the same, okay? The whole numbers are the same. But this fraction is equal to 0 0.31. Well, this is 0 0.3 and that's 0 0.4. So he has more peanuts, okay? The question says, which did he buy more of? Well, more is gonna, oh my goodness, I did that backwards, sorry guys. 
more cashews. Okay, so he bought more cashews. Okay, all right. Open to the bigger number, not the smaller one. So we miss Leah. Okay, all right, guys. So that's number three. Pause it. Make sure you write down your work. Okay. So we are going to go to number four on the back. Okay. Which says Eve has 24 stamps, each valued at $24.75. What is the total value of her stamp? So each stamp is worth $24.75, and she has 24 of them. We just need to find out how much that is. So four times five is 20. Zero down, carry your two. Four times seven is 28, plus two more is 30. Oh, make sure here's three, not your zero. Okay. Four times four is 16, plus three more is 19. Four times two is eight, plus one more is nine. Okay. So now we are going to go tick, tack, toe. Okay. I'm going to tick off the numbers that we carried. Tack the number we already used and toe placeholder, zero. Okay. Two times five is 10. Carry your one. Two times seven is 14, plus one more is 15. Carry your one. Two times four is eight, plus one more is nine, and two times two is four. We're going to add those numbers up. Okay. So zero plus zero, zero, zero plus zero is zero. Nine plus five is 14. Carry a one. Nine plus nine is 18, plus one more is 19. Carry a one. And four plus one is five. Now, up in the problem, it gave us one, two places in for the decimal, so we're going to go in one, two places, which means her stamp collection is worth nine, uh, sorry, $594 even, okay? All right, moving on, we're going to do number five, okay? It says, Naomi went for a 6.5 mile hike in the morning. She hiked 1.7 miles, rested, and then hiked 2.4 more miles. She completed the hike in the afternoon. How much further did she hike in the morning than in the afternoon? Well, first, we know exactly how much she hiked in the morning. So I went ahead and we're going to add those up first. Okay. Now, if this were to do it out because there's not the same amount of places after that decimal, you can put a zero. Okay. Five plus zero. Five, seven plus four is 11. Carry the one, make sure that you drop down your decimal. One plus one is two, plus two more is four. So now we need to make that six miles total. And we need to subtract what she hiked in the morning. So we know how much further she hiked in the morning than in the afternoon. Okay, so I cannot take five or one away from the zeros. So I have to go all the way over, take one of those. That makes this a 10. Now, I need to borrow one of those, making it a nine, and then that makes this one a 10. So now, I'm gonna drop down my decimal, okay? And then 10 minus five is five, nine minus one is eight, five minus four is one, okay? So 1.85 miles. Okay. Okay. You could say farther. You could say 1.85 miles farther, but Miss Lee is lazy when it comes to writing stuff out, so we're writing that. Okay. Number six. So the bookstore owner has 48 science fiction books and 30 mysteries. He wants to sell quickly. He'll make discount page packages with one type of each book. He wants to make the most books possible in each package, but all the packages must contain the same number of books. How many packages can he make? How many packages of each type of book did they have? So, first we have to know how to make each number. So, 1 and 30, 2 and 15, 3 and 10, and 5 and 6. Okay? Now, 48, we do 1 and 48, we do 2 and 24. We do... Uh, Three does not go in evenly. Four and twelve. Five no, and then six and eight. Okay, so it looks like the biggest number we have in common is going to be 
six. Okay, so six packages. Okay, and that's one, two, three, four, five packs of science fiction and one, two, three, four packs of mystery, right? Mystery. Okay, so six packages, five packs of science fiction, four packs of mystery. All right, guys, that was chapter two, lesson three. Come on back for 2.4. Okay, have a good day, guys.